Thanks. It's an honor to welcome everybody on this beautiful day. Today's groundbreaking celebrates the start of construction of the first of several Bioscience Connecticut projects and recognizes Jackson Laboratory's arrival in lease space on our campus. As many of you here know, Bioscience Connecticut has many components, including a new state-of-the-art hospital tower, renovations to the original research wing of the health center, a new ambulatory care center on the lower campus, expansion of the medical and dental school class sizes, and a host of community-based projects that include all of the regional hospitals and other community-based organizations. It's a truly historic day for the university and for the state as these initiatives continue to move forward. What we're doing here today is more than simply breaking ground on a series of buildings. What we're doing is inviting the finest scientists in the world to come to Connecticut, the finest teachers in the world to come to Connecticut, the finest medical students and dental students in larger numbers to come or stay in Connecticut. What we're saying to the people of Connecticut is you are unleashed from the negatives of the past. Let us build together a new and brighter future for this institution, for this university, for this state, and all of the prospects of all of its people. It is wrapped up in this particular basket uh, today that we celebrate that we're going to move forward. But what we really have been doing for 17 months is preparing a new road for a new future where our state competes with others in every way and wins in every way. That's what we're doing here today. I have to tell you how gratifying it is to meet people from the University of Connecticut Medical Center here uh, off campus and have them come up and say, we've been waiting years to get something done. Gratifying in the sense that I can look them in the eye and say, well, the years of waiting are behind us. And what lies ahead is a great new and brighter future. And that future will bring changes to the state of Connecticut, but it will also bring changes to the world in better medicine and personalized medicine and new research taking place on this campus, in new levels of investment, billions of dollars being poured into our economy, thousands of jobs being created, and yes, prospects for a better, more healthy life being designed here on this campus in a place where just a few months ago we were arguing about whether we would replace the beds in that institution. So to all of you, those who've been identified already, those of you who are silently there sitting, knowing that you have played a role in getting us to this point, I simply say to you, thank you for all of the work. Thank you for your endurance. Thank you to the legislature for approving this plan. Thank you for waiting for us to get it right. And today, with this wonderful new president of this wonderful institution, we are getting it right. God bless you all. We have come here today to celebrate a critical connection between our students and our patients on the one hand, and on the other hand, the medical science that drives and shapes their education and their care. But the creativity that fuels that science does not stand in isolation. Creativity and innovation are meaningless, are meaningless unless the products of that creativity are captured for the good of our patients and society. Only if new drugs and medical devices are brought to the marketplace can they have an impact on health and health care. That is the genius of Governor Malloy and the legislature. Genius because Bioscience Connecticut creates the infrastructure and the economic engine that brings the jobs and technologies to Connecticut that will harness the creativity of Bioscience Connecticut's new doctors and scientists into new treatments for our patients. Nothing substitutes for the right people. People with an insatiable curiosity and profound social commitment to make their ideas a reality for our patients. Bioscience Connecticut will help us bring them to Connecticut to work with our gifted faculty and the great faculty at the Jackson Labs to solve these problems. Bioscience incubators for small startup companies serve up the opportunity for seamless transitions between 
what academic medical centers do best, and what commercial startups do best. Every academic institution, every hospital and health center in Connecticut has a real chance to participate in this adventure of Bioscience Connecticut. My view at the table is big and that there are plenty of seats. I know I speak for everyone at the health center when I say you can count on us to do our part. Thank you. Well, what a tremendous day for the University of Connecticut Health Center, for the university, and as the governor said, for the state. I'd like us to look up and look around, and if you could look through the, the white awnings here, you'd see a building that's how, that houses two great schools. The School of Medicine, yes, the School of Dental Medicine. And between us, we form another school, the Graduate School of Biomedical Sciences. And we all pledge to, through Bioscience Connecticut now, uh, which, which, uh, which secures our future, uh, we pledge to expand and maintain all those things we've done so well for so many years, to teach and educate, to do research, uh, to care for patients, and uh, to care for the community through outreach. And now there's a, a, a new element um, that uh, through uh, collaborations with new partners like Jackson Laboratory, but certainly other partners through our incubator lab program to expand what we do and to do all those things that the governor and our EVP have described. So I want to thank the leaders of the university, uh, the leaders of our government, and the citizens of Connecticut for making this great opportunity possible. Thank you very much. So I'm here today uh, to say that we've been amazed at the pace with which the people of the state of Connecticut have welcomed us um, to Farmington, to Connecticut. Uh, we are astonished uh, at, at the boldness and vision that you've shown, and we're deeply grateful uh, to the governor, the legislature, and the citizens of the state of Connecticut for your faith in us. And uh, I couldn't be happier to be here today to help you celebrate uh, the start of this great construction project, uh, the facilities where we hope that together with um, our good friends at UConn Health, uh, we'll be inventing uh, the future of medicine. So thank you for welcoming the Jackson Laboratory to your state. Thank you for making us your partner. Thanks a lot, Connecticut. Thank you.